Coach, as you approach the last few weeks of your season, uh, you have senior night coming up in a couple of weeks. Um, this is going to be a unique situation for those guys. Yeah. Uh, what have they meant to the program and, and, and how have they carried it forward considering everything that's happened during their careers? Yeah, I mean, I think they've stuck with it, right? They've, we've been through a lot of adversity as a program and, you know, from not participating in, uh, from last season and then the year before going through, you know, some different things with the university system. I mean, they've been through a lot as a group and, um, you know, but through that they've resolved and obviously carried the program forward and put in a good spot. And, you know, so Gustav's Greg Isles is a fantastic goaltender, Antti Bertanen, Jordan Mazzillo uh, on defense, and then, you know, Caleb Hyde and Colin Doyle. So they've all done a fantastic job of keeping the program going, putting it in the right direction. And, you know, the exciting thing about it too is that they have opportunities to continue playing, whether that's, you know, coming back for a fifth year or, you know, moving on to pro hockey as well. When they, when you brought in your new players for this year, yeah. was it kind of different than the normal situation when you bring in players and when you're on a year but year after year basis? You know what? I think the strange thing was just the fact that we didn't play last year, so you had this whole big group of guys that have never played a collegiate game before, and so that was the odd thing. You're almost dealing with two groups of freshman classes, which uh, was a little bit different. So I mean, there's a there's a big learning curve. You know, you have to. Uh, it's tough. It's difficult in college hockey. It's a physical. It's a hard game. It's tough to be able to score. There's not a lot of space. Every team's good, and you know anybody can beat you on a given night. And so if you're not ready to compete, you're going to get, uh, you know, your doors blasted in, and you're not going to be able to win hockey games. So, uh, you know, it was good to have such a such a good leadership group to be able to help carry those guys along. But you know, until you get that experience yourself, I think uh, you, you, you don't really know what it's like until you go through it. Uh, on your team, you have a lot of European players, yeah. and they seem to have kind of come here in groups of two or three. Um, what is the exposure in that part of the world to college hockey? Yeah, I mean, it's you know, it's different. I think in the uh, like the Nordic countries, I think it's becoming more and more popular just with you know, the Swedes and Fence, uh, Latvia, it's becoming a little bit more, you know, that connection was our old assistant coach was the head coach of the U20 Latvian team. And so had a number of these guys that he's been coaching for a long time through youth hockey and was able to expose them to an opportunity in NCAA hockey. And, uh, you know, I think that's a path that a lot of those guys are choosing to go on, you know, staying away from pro and going into, you know, the NCAA route, give them a longer path, opportunity to earn a college degree and college education, studying in the States. And, and like you said, they, they do, you know, they recruit each other in a lot of those cases right so one comes over has a good experience and then you know tells their buddy and all of a sudden you have a pipeline that's over there and uh you know so so far we've had that and you know i think there's a common bond too uh between the europeans and you know an understanding and makes them more comfortable when they go to the university here how did some of your players including your top goalie uh, gustav kringles ended up in the nhl yeah how did that end up working out that way as opposed to the the way most of the other guys have come yeah you know he, he had the opportunity to be able to go over and play in Shreveport and play in the North American League had a connection there and then you know we recruited him out of that league as so many other Europeans we do uh, you know and that's a that's a good path for them that's a good path you know NHL USHL to have an opportunity to then go play college hockey so it's becoming more and more of a normal pipeline to be able to go through there and you know, hopefully it continues because I think it's elevated, you know, Division One hockey. You now have, you know, obviously the Americans, Canadians, and now all these Europeans. I mean, I think college hockey is better than it's ever been. Um, one last question. You yeah. guys are going to go home after this game this yeah. afternoon um, and celebrate your version of Hockey Week. Yeah. What does that mean in Alaska in terms of uh, how you guys celebrate the game of hockey? Yeah, it's a big deal for us there. You know, they do a lot of honorees. We have our Hockey Hall of Fame. We have, you know, the college hockey and, and induction uh, induction ceremony where everyone who's played, you know, college hockey, they get, you know, uh, introduced and they put up on a plaque. And so it's a big deal for Fairbanks. And, you know, we celebrate it with the junior team, the, the Fairbanks Ice Dogs, as well as our program. Uh, you know, hockey is such a big part of Fairbanks. It's such a big part of our community. It's such an important piece of it. And, you know, it's nice for our guys to be more interactive with the community during that week and, you know, for the community to be able to be exposed to some really good hockey, both from the youth level all the way up to college. Uh, it's been a long year. You guys have done a lot of traveling. Yeah. Uh, is it going to be nice to finally get home and 
not really have to get on a plane again for a while. I mean, yeah, yes and no. I mean, I've enjoyed it. It's been great to be able to experience all these different places and see some some wonderful rinks from, you know, the going up to the North Country and, you know, coming to New York City, uh, you know, playing at some great buildings, Vermont and Maine and Cornell and Clarkson and uh, now coming to LIU, a new program. So it's been exciting all along the way. It's been a great experience for myself and our players. And, you know, we're looking forward to doing it again next year and going to see different places and, you know, getting that opportunity that most people don't get to do. Thanks, Coach. Yeah, absolutely.